California's clean energy sector is creating 15,000 jobs every year. These are high paying jobs that launch careers delivering clean energy and reducing pollution over a 30 year span. Most of the jobs only require a community college education, some with a path from enrollment to employment in less than one year. This video will focus on the skills required to turn a good job into a successful career by creating intersections between preparation and opportunity. So my dad gave me an idea for a job, and that's where I started. He used to tell me about people that make great money working on refrigeration systems on fishing boats. <laughs> I wasn't interested in fishing boats. But with a little research, I found that refrigeration techs made great money no matter where they worked. So after high school, I enrolled at a community college in the air conditioning and refrigeration program. That led to my first job at the Pacific Corporate Towers. It's a two million square foot office complex where I'm making good money, working a part of a 12-man team maintaining the facility. Based on my training and education, I'm able to keep the heating, air conditioning, lighting, and water systems up and running. This job helps to understand the relationships between all systems in our building and how they contribute to the overall safety and comfort of everyone in the complex. Tenants are my primary concern, but I'm also working with plumbers, electricians, carpenters, landscapers. I realized early on that no matter what technical skills the job may require, it's all about people. Working with people is based on empathy, which is the ability to appreciate another person's point of view. And then comes adaptability, working with others to succeed, even in difficult circumstances. Large office complexes can present serious challenges, and meeting them day after day requires relentless attention to detail in balancing the technical requirements of whatever system you operate or maintain, and the needs of the client. Developing the skills necessary to balance both sides of the equation will open up a lifetime of career opportunities. As your technical and management skills develop, you'll begin to see career opportunities that you might not have been aware of. This is the beginning of career vision, where you start to see a path to your future. It's been four years since I started at the mall, and since then I've been promoted to assistant chief engineer with responsibility of 12 other engineers. They have the technical skills needed to get the job done, so my role is to provide leadership and direction. I also have the added responsibility of keeping costs low and tenants happy. Because of my new position, I now have more frequent and direct contact up the chain of command. So I'm having to learn the language of the business as well as develop a new communication style. It was also obvious with my new position I would need more formal education, so I went back to school. I can't work full-time and be a full-time student, but I can chip away at it one class at a time. You are seeing career vision in action, identifying the opportunity and then taking the steps to make it happen, being adaptable and making the most of your situation. It's all part of the lifelong learning process. I've been working for the last eight years at the Hitachi facility in Brisbane, California, and the defining moment of this job came with the last big San Francisco earthquake. Our building's located just north of the San Francisco airport, and we sustained some damage and someone had to step up and lead the rebuilding and eventual reopening of the facility. So as chief engineer, that fell on my shoulders. I used the same skills I developed throughout my career and brought Hitachi back online. Technical skills were the foundation of my approach, but more important was maintaining constant communication with our management team, our clients, and our workforce. The rebuilding process has also given me insight into a niche for energy efficiency professionals in the commercial real estate market that I hadn't seen before. These people are looking at these buildings from a performance perspective and how to make them more energy efficient. So now I'm thinking what if? We install energy efficient windows on the sunny side of the building. We change to computer controlled thermostats in key locations to optimize efficiency and we recycle the air in the buildings at night when energy costs are low. This is one of those intersections between preparation, opportunity, and career vision we've been talking about. The chief engineer used his technical expertise to develop a recovery plan and his ability to communicate with senior management and their clients to implement it. But he also saw the opportunity for a new career with emerging technologies and energy efficiency. When I started my career as a building engineer, I thought becoming the chief engineer would be the pinnacle of my success. It turned out to be a step along the way. 
I looked at the qualifications of our senior management team and created a list of technical certifications, professional licenses, and formal education I needed if I was going to advance. And at the top of that list was becoming an expert in energy efficiency. I was hired as a director of engineering by Glenboro LLC, which is a real estate management company with billions of dollars in commercial real estate in their portfolio. Obviously, energy management and conservation across Glenboro's entire commercial portfolio is a high priority. So with support of senior management, I developed an energy management and sustainability program that's one of the best in the country. I would say throughout my professional career, the one project that I'm most proud of is converting the Aventine office building in La Jolla, California into a certified LEED Platinum building. It is one of the world's most energy efficient buildings and was used as a case study for bringing older buildings up to energy start standards. Over the years, I've earned a bachelor's degree in business administration and an MBA, a contractor's license, a real estate broker's license, a real property administrator designation, and became a LEED accredited professional. Parts of my continuing education have been essential in my current position. While others have given me a broader perspective into the challenges facing our clients, it is imperative that you understand what your clients or even your own engineering team actually needs if you're gonna help them achieve your common goals. Today I sit in several energy efficiency boards, work with designers and engineers both cross country and internationally and work with community colleges to develop career technical education programs to bring more people into the energy sector. And the thing is, I'm still using the same tools I started developing all those years ago. Formal education, technical expertise, and career vision. All of our characters drew on their education and experience from one position to advance to the next. Technical expertise alone isn't enough to support a successful career. It takes empathy, adaptability, communication, career vision, and a willingness to step outside your comfort zone to truly succeed. We're going to end this video with one final interview. The man you are about to see made the journey from community college to vice president of engineering for one of the world's largest commercial property management companies. He is considered one of the world's leading experts on creating and managing energy efficient buildings. The presentation you've just seen is based on my career. These are the positions I held and the decisions I made that led me to where I am today. There are two very important takeaways in this video. First is the concept of lifelong learning. I completed my AA degree in 1986 and my MBA 20 years later. Your education should never stop expanding. Community colleges and career technical education programs are incredibly valuable resources for expanding opportunities in your primary and associated career paths. Second, it's important for you to understand that success in business depends as much on soft skills as it does on formal education and professional certifications. Situational awareness led me to understand that I had to go beyond the traditional education required by my career choice if I wanted to advance. I didn't need a contractor's license or a real estate broker's license to do my job. I needed them to be more effective and to gain insight into more career opportunities. Community colleges and career technical educations have become critical in developing the next generation workforce across the country. There are literally hundreds of thousands of jobs available right now that employers can't fill due to a lack of qualified applicants. These are very good paying jobs and all they require are a few semesters in a community college to qualify. Don't believe the myth that you need a four-year degree to start a career or that community colleges can't provide the quality education needed to be competitive in the job market. I started at a community college and so can you. <laughs>